All right. So next up is uh, Christian uh, Bitcoin Cast uh, and uh, the panel discussion on building web applications. Christian, take it away. Yeah, we got a a really big uh, announcement. Um, Chris, uh, uh, Eleanor and I have been working on it. And um, we're going to basically, we're putting on uh, Bitcoin Cash DevCon 3. It's going to be, uh, there's going to be a local venue in Los Angeles, but then um, you'll have the option to compete remotely as well. Yeah, and what date is that happening? September 5th and 6th. It's a 32-hour nonstop hackathon. Yeah, so I'll be there as mentor. Um, uh, I'm donating some PSF tokens. Uh, what other uh, prizes and donations do we have so far, guys? We got some spicy tokens. I can chip in some honk if you like. <laughs> So there's a causes.cash campaign, and we've got a website, right, uh, Christian? For Actually, Devcon? it's not causes.cash. Uh, hmm. That didn't come through in time. So I was scrambling to get the last-minute touches on the website and the campaign. But it's all live. You can go to devcon.cash. Uh, you can site register for the hackathon. You can uh, contribute to our Flipstarter campaign or... Uh, you can uh, contact us about being a potential sponsor. So, yeah, but we are going to run a, a type of fundraiser to, to raise money for the prize. Is that still uh, the plan? Yes. Uh, okay, Eleanor, uh, tell us about the sponsorship uh, plans and how that works. Eleanor, are you there? She was fading in and out. It might be her internet. Okay. Um, well, Chris, would you like to talk about it? Uh, yeah, unfortunately, I'm not quite as, uh, informed. Um, I, I love how the devcon.cash website has been, has been panning out. Um, so just to, just to basically recap on what you said and what's captured on the, the devcon.cash website, uh, it's going to be based in California, but it's going to be international. So it's a virtual hackathon with, with California being the hub. Uh, I'm going to be a mentor. Amri Sache has agreed to be a mentor. Uh, I'll be giving free access to fullstack.cash to any developers that want to participate. Um, and I'll definitely be donating some PSF tokens um, as some of the, some of the rewards. Uh, and again, it's on September 5th and 6th. So, so that's the gist of it, I think, if people need to take something away. That was, those are, that's the main gist. Go to devcon.cash for the details. All right. And it looks like Eleanor is back online. Hello. Or is she? <laughs> She's frozen in a very frozen. concentrated appearance. All right. Well, I guess I'll just uh, talk about how the sponsorship works. Basically, uh, we really want to involve our, our sponsors and have them be a part of this hackathon as much as, uh, as possible and gain as much as valuable, uh, gain as much value as possible from being a sponsor. So if uh, to our sponsors, we offer them a chance to, to give a workshop uh, for the people at the hackathon Let's say SideShift AI, they'll have a chance to give a workshop on how to use their API. And also, uh, every, uh, um, every um, Satoshi um, in donations gets credited with a uh, DevCon token, and they can use those tokens to vote on projects by sending them to the team's addresses. And then all the funds and all the tokens will be airdropped to all the teams using the bitcoin.com SLP dividend calculator. Very cool, that, that's news to me. I didn't realize that's cool. That'll be a great uh, sort of interaction with the tech. It's very similar to the airdrop we just had with PSF where- Yeah, so yeah, the sponsors it, 
will be voting and their votes will be proportional to how much they contributed and it will incentivize the hackers to um, build things that the sponsors want. Very cool. Very cool. Um, well, I'm curious to get an update from Kieran on the Common Fund. Yeah. Um, we actually just put a, a new website up live. So <laughs> my uh, placeholder coming soon countdown um, horribleness is no longer up. Um, so it does explain a little bit about um, what we're doing. And uh, you can sign up for a mailing list. Um, to get notified when we launch. That's uh, nice. common dot fund. If anyone was interested in uh, checking it out, I love seeing all these. Um, you know, we've got Flipstarter, we've got Causes Cash, we've got Common Fund. These are all very innovative ideas. It's great to see competition in this in this very infant space of of uh, on chain donations. I don't know if maybe that's the right term, but, but something like that. So just to wrap this up, since um, this panel is supposed to discuss building web apps, um, I'm curious, like I gave a presentation earlier on um, fullstack.cash and our approach to building web apps, but I'm curious to hear some of the, the, the tools, uh, Christian and Kieran, that, that you guys use. I know you guys are very prevalent web app builders in this space. so. What are what sort of your go-to tools for building web apps? I like anything that has to do with uh, socket connection uh, over a REST API because uh, that just makes your web app uh, way more fast and responsive, especially when uh, querying the uh, blockchain and listening for a transaction. Yeah, um, curious on that because yeah. Uh, my experience with WebSockets has been not the most reliable. That's why I tend to prefer a REST API, which is more state-driven, whereas like a socket is more real-time. Um, have you experienced that, like lost transactions or lost blocks that just don't come through the connection? Not so much, really. Okay, it's been good. pretty <laughs> reliable, but I, I think you have a point because... Uh, there, there is, uh, that, that could happen. Cool. Yeah, Kieran, how about you? Um, pretty much everything we've built is, um, well, it's basically forwarding uh, Electrum connections over a uh, web socket. So <laughs> I think someone earlier um, it, or it might have been the other uh, stream, but um, someone that I think it was Roscoe uh, mentioned that he was working on um, having a uh, Electrum X or, or, or Electrum uh, integrate WebSocket directly, which would be very nice. Um, and then Electrum's like protocol is actually pretty uh, pretty good for when it comes to like polling and subscriptions and all. So I'm not too uh, worried about it you know, missing mm -hmm. transactions and all because it'll it'll tend to catch it um, whenever you do the next, like, Bloom filter update. Very cool. Yeah, I have seen some updates from Kalen that uh, there's a couple Electron cache uh, servers with WebSockets built in, and that's, like, a new going to be a new thing. Um, I'm going to have to give it a, a another another try. I've, I've really been trying to, to focus on the REST API side of things. Um, but but there's a lot of demand from developers such as yourselves for more web so web socket based tech. Yeah, actually, there's a couple of things with web sockets and Bitcoin Cash. One of our potential sponsors has uh, has tools for web sockets on Bitcoin Cash, and there's also the Mainnet pro uh, project, uh, which is looking to provide those services as well. Yeah, yeah, I'm interested to see how that you you said main not mainnet dot cash. Yeah, yeah, I'm interested to see how that how that uh, unfolds. It's a it's a there's a lot of overlap 
um, with that and what I'm trying to do at fullstack.cash. And I've, uh, I've reached out to him to see if, you know, you know, let's work together. There's no need for both of us to, to, uh, you know, if there's, if there's synergy, let's, let's make use of it. Yeah. <laughs> so I think the, um, so the goal with main.cash was actually to kind of raise a, a more or less a bounty um, to, you know, go to other development teams that are already working on um, kind of different aspects of um, of the library that we're trying to build and then get them to, uh, you know, fully integrate those. So, um, yeah, there might, there might be something there if you uh, go and contact them. Yeah, so it sounds like you guys are both familiar with the the pitch there for mainnet.cash. Um, and I have some idea on like technologically what would be required to, to pull that off. I love I love the focus on abstraction of just making it very simple to work with with tokens. Um, of course, you know how you make that a reality. That's that's something I've spent a lot of time thinking about. Um, and I'm curious, like with the tool sets that you guys use. How would you see that kind of level of abstraction? Like how, how in your mind, how would you, this kind of goes beyond building a wallet, right? Like the wallet's the user interface that every, all the hard work's already done. This is more like building an app like Read Cash. How do you just very easily interact with SLP tokens? Um, that's something I'm exploring right now because there's so much shuffling that has to go around with a UTXO um, in order to figure out, is it an SLP token? okay, like, how does this SLP token relate to, you know, all the other SLP tokens? I got to find the, the Genesis information. Have you guys struggled with that much? And I'm, I'm curious, like, to hear some, like, battle stories of things gone wrong and lessons learned. Yeah, so um, actually for the Spice Button project, uh, that was from the uh, hackathon last year. Uh, I was using the BitDB WebSocket and I had to figure all that stuff out. So I guess the only cure is really well documented, uh, um, real doc, uh, <laughs> uh, really good documentation that you can use and understand. And also a, a Telegram group or a group of other developers who are already familiar with it and can help you out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That well put. I mean, I think that simple ledger protocol telegram group is, is the best place. And slp.dev, you know, those are two things that really speak to that directly. I know it's helped me. I know it's helped you. It helped a lot of people in this space sort of onboard into SLP tokens. Yeah, and Chris, I really like how you're building these uh, JavaScript libraries that uh, make those tools a lot easier. Well, I got to get, thank you. Thank you. I got to give a tip of the hat to JT Freeman. I mean, he's done more than anybody in the space to, to sort of identify like, cause when we, when James and I and Gabriel Cardona, when we all started creating the very first developer tools for working with SLP tokens, um, it was like one giant monolithic library. And over the last year, JT's like gone through all that code and pulled out like, oh, we need a library to do validation. Oh, we need a library to do parsing, you know, like, uh, and just pulled out like little chunks and made them self-contained. And it's such a better architecture that way to be able to compose these little Lego blocks to, um, to solve a, a big business problem. And so I've really been inspired by that and I've been trying to follow that pattern. Yeah, I mean, I guess to answer, uh... The question you asked earlier, Chris. Um, internally, we've kind of actually been, um, you know, putting together a lot of our like, libraries and stuff in a way that's like, okay, later on we can just come back to this, and um, you know, we know that like uh, passing the SLP, if it's an SLP UTXO and all of that, and then. Um, you know, getting the balance across HD wallets and across UTXOs and then figuring out like which ones need to be spent. So your UTXO selection and everything. Um, so all of that, you know, it's kind of extracted away behind, uh, um, 
behind like a fairly simple um, API kind of. So you know you create like your wallet and then you call uh, create your wallet class. You call like send with an amount and then not have to worry about anything under the hood. Um, all of that kind of deal. So um, kind of like the way that main like cache is, is uh, taking um, because it's very similar to uh, to what we're doing. That's mm -hmm. been super useful. Yeah, what I on that front, what I'm exploring right now, I just um, created a very small REST API server uh, that I'm calling SLP-API, and it's it's in the Permissionless Software Foundation GitHub repo. And it's not that it um, does anything special. It's just that I put that server on, in the same data center as SLPD, DB, and the full node and the REST API. So they're just very close to one another. So I let that app do all that heavy lifting of trying to like figure out, I, I call it a, a hydrate where it takes like the, the minimum S UTXO info and then it hydrates it with all the information about the SLP token that you could possibly want. And then that's what it gives back to you. And, uh, and so that's what I'm exploring right now with the wallet. And to my knowledge, there's not really like any other system i mean that's what i love about this stuff is being on the cutting edge like that and being like oh you know if i did this it would make it a lot better um so anyways that's what i'm exploring so i i do hope that a lot of this can get rolled into member.cash or or any other tool sets that uh you know that uh become popular that's 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 my main focus it's just adoption and uh and solving business problems yeah well, really great. I mean, just like, so if you look at, um, you know, the kind of DeFi stuff and all, right, and I, I think um, with things like any hedge and all, um, Bitcoin Cash is kind of moving towards that that um, that route as well, or at least we're, we're kind of building more and more Bitcoin Cash web apps in uh, some, some form or another. Like, okay, you, you, you look at like, DeFi, there's a couple of different platforms out there. You've got like Ethereum's got the high gas fees and um, all of that. And there are already platforms out there which have a lot lower gas fee, you know, almost free transfers and instant, whatever. But none of them have really seen, you know, you've got like EOS and all, and you've got like some like uh, gambling sites and all that kind of use it. But or like the actual serious DeFi applications um, still live on Ethereum. And I think most of that has got to do uh, with the with the toolkit. So um, one advantage that we've got with uh, Bitcoin Cash is A, the, uh, the attack surface for the on-chain stuff. Oh, hello, Eleanor. Sorry, this has been a it's <laughs> difficult. Finally working. Twelfth tries to charm. Yeah, it turns out I need a new computer, turn everything down, start everything again, have a slice of cake, and I'm here. Sorry, guys. So sorry. I'm here. And How I've much been... of that cake have you eaten? Okay. I, I actually gave half of it to my neighbors because I was like, this is, this oh, is not going to be possible. So I actually came downstairs with a giant rainbow cake and was like, uh, halfsies? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> That's great. But thank you, Christian, for working so hard on the website. I'm so happy it's live and up and everything. Everybody can go sign up and register for the hackathon. It's really cool. Yep. Flip starters live as well. Booyah. Very cool. Oh, no. Yeah, you said flip starter. <laughs> hmm? Well, where's common fund? Is it still in beta? Like, sorry, like, uh, <laughs> have you had yeah. fun instead, Kieran? How's that going? <laughs> well, we have a new website up now. So it's not, it's not a blank page. It's good. Can I, can we I mean, make common a fund campaign? would work great if we wanted a countdown instead of a fundraiser. <laughs> hey, uh, George, how are we doing on time? I don't want to, if Sato chip, if the Sato chip guys are ready, I, I don't want to take away from them. Uh, how about three more minutes for you guys? All right. Sounds good. Okay. <laughs> want to talk about memes? <laughs> I think Carol already did Oh my that. god, did you guys like that before? 
I, I made a few the past few days, kind of like a breather from all the work I've been doing towards the BCH DevCon. I got to say, I've been enjoying them. The, the, the nonstop meme Twitter feed has been pretty awesome. <laughs> I think it's a really, I, I think it's, I think it's much needed. I think everybody's finally like, yes, can express with me what I'm feeling. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So this oh. is a meme I made. Uh, Are we shilling memes the, now? Yeah. This is from <laughs> the matrix. <laughs> and actually this is Shema. <laughs> yeah, that's a great, uh, uh, so, Photoshop no, there. Okay, I'll do it with French accent. Amory will forgive me, right, George? <laughs> so, you're telling Definitely. me I have to defend my decisions publicly? <laughs> no, Amory. <laughs> That's pretty good. You see, we, need, we, we just need more political satire. <laughs> but I know that before he said we should have less revolutionary minds, but... He is a revolutionary. I realized later, I was like, he can't say that. He like, he, 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 he's part of the team that created Bitcoin Cash. How can he now turn over three years later and say, guys, everybody chill. No one questions anything. I know the road. I think it's fantastic. But Chris, I also read your articles. Maybe a bit Which like ones? the one with like your thoughts on, you know, 2020. And I was like, hmm. It wasn't so much an opinion. I was just trying to be like, hey, this is what I see. This is how I see it. No, but I liked it how you wrote it. It was very, like, from an like, okay. honest perspective. Next, next I, meet, it was really I made nice. this one for my uh, meetup group. This one was uh, great. Actually, this was for today. <laughs> is this how we get people at meetups? Nagging. It worked. <laughs> I, got, I, I got a couple of people at my meetup. Nice, nice. <laughs> Do you right. have a lot of Bernie Sanders supporters? That picture would like... just like been relegated to the dustbins of history if you hadn't saved it and made a meme out of it. <laughs> All right. Uh, All right, well, everyone. Thank you, George. Thanks, yes. thanks for guys. Go to devcon.cash, sign up, and re reserve your spot. Fifth and sixth of September. Yeah, looking yep. forward to seeing everyone. And let's get this, you know, dev culture back into BCH and like really show and showcase all our good stuff out there. And let's steal some ETH devs. Yay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> all right, guys. Uh, fantastic BCH. Comment.fund, sign up there as well. <laughs> yes, you should. You should. And then comment fund. Yeah, go to comment.fund and then sign up there as well. have a price. All right. For now, on, for now, it's on Flipstarter. Thank you, George. Thank you, Eleanor. Thanks, Christian, Kieran, Chris. Very nice. And Bye. yeah, devconda cash. It's going to be great.